What is going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wars video. Today I'm going to be making a quick review um, on last night's 3-0 win over West Ham. An absolutely magnificent win and a really dominant win as well from the start to finish. Um, from minute 1 to minute 90 it was complete domination um, and West Ham couldn't deal with it really. They just weren't at the races. Um, even with um, Arnautovic returning for them in a starting lineup, that could um, that that couldn't do um, any good for them, and it was complete domination from start to finish. Um, the referee definitely wasn't on our side in this game, um, and he could have potentially made us lose this game uh, on another day. If West West Ham uh, were more at it in the game, um, if when West Ham had more of a reaction in the game and they were more at it, then the referee could have definitely cost us because the first one was definitely a penalty. The second one, not so much, but I do believe that we should have at least had a penalty. We should have at least had a penalty um, in that game, but we didn't. We didn't get a penalty, um, and I guess we didn't we didn't let the referee spoil our chances um, of picking up three points because Romain Sace, um in for Willy Bolly for the past few games has obviously got suspended against in the game against Man City. Um, Romain Sace has come in and he's he's got a goal for himself in what could be. Potentially his last appearance, maybe, for a while. Although, I guess Nuno has something to think about now. Um, when he's selecting either Bolly or Sace next, uh, in the next game against Everton. He has something to think about now. He has something to think about. Um, because he either picks Sace or Bolly. Because Sace, he, he's been alright. In the past few games, obviously not been the best, but he has obviously grabbed himself a goal now, um, which is um, good for himself. And now, um, Ever um, and now Bolly is coming back uh, from suspension. He's available now uh, for the game against Everton on Saturday. Nuno's definitely got something to think about. But yeah, uh, nice that he uh, grabbed a goal for himself. And the other two goals uh, were just, you know, a casual brace um, from uh, Raul Jimenez, you know, just doing his stuff. Obviously, um, um, a bit, uh, obviously I'm being a bit sarcastic there. <laughs> um, um, yeah, brilliant um, two goals uh, from Raul Jimenez. Uh, the, the first one, uh, a lovely touch to send it past Fabianski's to make it 2-0 with about 10 minutes remaining um, and by the way Fabianski was probably the only standout performer in the West Ham team um, last night it could have honestly been 5 or 6 without Fabianski Johnny had a couple of efforts um, in in the second half um, as well like, um, uh, Johnny had a uh, one effort I think um, uh, from uh, from the left hand side, uh, which he made a good save from, um, and yeah, Fabianski um, spared, really did spare um, uh, spare his team a couple of goals um, last night. He really did. Um, and we just kept cutting him open. We just kept cutting him open. And you would expect from West Ham team, who's at the, at the weekend just lost 4-2 to uh, a struggling League One club in AFC Wimbledon in the FA Cup. They've just been knocked out by AFC Wimbledon, who are struggling in League One. And they cut. Um, you, you would expect them to come to Molyneux with some with some kind of so, some kind of firepower, some um, some hunger, some want to to um, resurrect uh, the last game against AFC Wimbledon and 
come back to the Premier League and get a win and get it, um, get that out of their memory. But no, they just didn't do that. They didn't turn up on the night, and they got absolutely hammered. In essence, um, they got absolutely hammered, um, and it really could have been more on a different day. It really could have been more. Um, now, moving on to Everton at the weekend then. Um, I don't think Everton are in that good of um, form themselves at the moment either. So, a couple of really good games to potentially pick up three points in. Um, obviously, we've, we've taken, uh, taken our chance uh, to pick up three points against West Ham. Um, we've taken that. Um, very swiftly. Now moving into a game against Everton, another uh, poorly performing side at the moment. Um, you could say uh, another poorly performing side that we should really um, be be picking up three points against. You know, Everton expected to finish around about seventh or eighth usually, um, and the past couple of seasons they haven't been they haven't been doing that well. Um, and this season they're definitely underperforming. I think they're about tenth or eleventh in the league. I think at the moment, definitely un- un- underperforming for a club like Everton. But yeah, a massive chance to get three points um, in that game and push us on thirty-eight points and almost at that forty-point mark um, by the start of February. First game of February, Everton uh, pushing uh, pushing us to two points away. From our forty-point mark already at the start of February, um, and that will be a massive achievement. Uh, and then we could just kick on from there and get a really good finish because we're currently seventh in the league at the moment. Um, obviously, games pl- playing tonight as well, so um, that will obviously affect the league table. Uh, Watford, as I'm recording, uh, are currently winning as I know as I know of uh, against Spurs, so that. Uh, That'll push us down probably into about eighth, but that's still a very good position to be in at the moment. And if we could pick up a, um, a few good wins uh, over the next couple of we- uh, over the next couple of weeks, especially as I said against Everton uh, next up away from home on Saturday, then that would be definitely beneficial um, in helping us to get at least a top half finish anyway. Um, if not a uh, 7th or 8th place finish, which would be very, very, very nice indeed for our first season back in the Premier League. But anyway, if you did enjoy the review uh, of the West Ham uh, game, make sure to smash that like button. And I shall see you um, on Saturday with a review uh, of the Everton game. Until then, goodbye guys! Go. <laughs>